You know why I'm not allowed to say anything bad about Gil Monty? He threatened to kill me. I hate him standing behind me. <laughs> I've been following Gil's work for a long time. I studied his skulls for years. Everybody knows Gil's skulls, you know? It took me about 15 years before I figured out that they're anatomically incorrect. <laughs> Yeah. Everything's wrong about Oh uh, no, just the eyes, they're bulging like they're on speed. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. It smells like a nursing home in here. <laughs> Philadelphia Eddie treated me like a piece of shit first time I met him. And I, and I was doing a guest spot in one of his shops, man. It was awesome. <laughs> I respect, man. I respect. I'm honored to be up here. Lyle, again, I got so much shit. Just just from knowing him, just from talking with him, man. The guy's a, I honestly think he's a genius, man. All respect. And I'm going to get right to uh, to Gil. You know, I know about him forever. And uh, learned about his legacy. And, and uh, really just recently got to know him. And, uh, wow, what a fucking letdown, man. <laughs> I'm going to turn it over because I got serious swamp ass. I'm going to sit back down before you all get a taste of it. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Eric Femmel. I'm a crazy Philadelphia Eddie's ghost rider. You may not know me, but everyone asks if I am Eddie's son. And I just wanted to clear something up real quick. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually Lyle Tuttle's illegitimate son. <laughs> And uh, I'm, a, I'm a pretty pissed off son, and I have rebelled against my father. I'm a new generation, I prefer Pepsi, not Coke. <laughs> you know, Bob Tyrell, I, I've never met you, but this is the first time I got to really hang out with you at the booth and stuff. And Eddie was that exactly right, you are really slow, man. <laughs> I thought he was kidding, but God, someone asked for your autograph. It took you two days to do a tattoo. <laughs> Fuck, it took you three days for the autograph. <laughs> I don't know too much about you other than you're a breeder. Yeah. You have, you have no respect swallowing business, that's a little joke. Uh, I've been... But I guess you do, if you get right down to it, and it's taking the dictionary. But, um... Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah! Woo! It's dead like you are. So he does all the drugs at tattoo shows. Bob Terrell gets all the pussy. So what did we come for? Competition. I guess I do. Um, you know, you know, the first time I met Philadelphia Eddie. I was, it was before I was into tattooing and everything like that. It was, you know, I was just a young guy and I was in Philadelphia. And I was uh, walking down the street and Eddie stuck a gun in my ribs and told me to give up my wallet. You know, that's, that, that was my first introduction to Eddie. <laughs> Here's your wallet back. <laughs> Uh, I suck at roast, as you'll find out in a second. Wait a minute, you suck at roast? Do I, where do I get in line? Oh. Oh. Wow. Yep. That's not your real fucking last name. It's R.T. I'll say this. He added a fucking T. He is an artist. If he likes stick figures, <laughs> egg-shaped heads, and, you know. Ed Lee, fuck, you know, I just met Ed Lee this weekend, man. He's been my idol. I started tattooing in 97, and his flash was all over the walls, the eternal tattoos. Me and Marshall used to work together, do Ed's flash all the time, man. He fucking pumped out flash like he pumps, you know, 14-year-old girls now that he got out. Ed Lee, the only thing I can say about you, man, is you gotta slow down, because you're fucking making me look bad, dude. You do one amazing tattoo that would take me, like, Five times, you know, you do it in two hours, it would take me 20. Yeah, but you just look sick. <laughs> Whatever, you're a bad motherfucker, man. <laughs> Philadelphia Eddie, my fucking hero, one of my fucking heroes, man. I got a lot of heroes sitting up here tonight. Everybody's my hero, here, man. Three of them, four of them, five of them, actually. Except for
for John. <laughs> I love you, man. You're my hero, bro. For real. I'm blessed to know you. Gil, you know, it's like, I remember one time we're at the bar, you know, and he's, uh, we're just talking and stuff, and he's like, you know, he's like, you know, when I did too, you know, he's got that high voice. <laughs> he's got that high girly voice, you know, and he's like, he's like, you know, when I did too, you know, I drink. You know, there's some scarring, you know, but uh, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I got like a huge one inch scar on my hand to prove it, man. That's, uh, I love you, Gil. Oh, you have that girly part. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, Gil. I'm almost done. This is why you don't buy me shots doing the roast, you know. <laughs> Hey, get off the phone, man. You're in a roast. <laughs> Gil, I fucking love you to death. You're my fucking hero. My hero. One of my favorite fucking people in the world. One of my best friends in the world. I fucking love you, man. High five, baby. First, let me say thank you for all this. Me too, but I... What else could I say? You know, man, just to be a part of all this, this just to be a part of this world, to be recognized by this, is pretty special to me. Well, well, way to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I got, at one time, I was roasted by the National Tattoo Association. Dino Cook wrote this poem. And it just, there's just a couple funny lyrics I can just remember from this. this one point was says, Says, uh, Gilmont, you never know what town you'll find that motherfucker in, but you can bet your life he's hunting Viking in. <laughs> and another part said, uh, yeah, Gil, he once tattooed me. That rags ain't seen water since it was a tree. <laughs> man, it was kind of cute. But man, what respect from all you guys, and thank you so much. Love you.